Welcome back everybody, this is Ash for the Triple S League, and this is a guide to the cave safe puzzle in Deathloop. This is a puzzle that you come across in the up-down area of the island. It can be accessed at pretty much any time of day, I think. And you probably came across this if you were thoroughly exploring the area, looking for secret passages, secret tunnels, etc. Or maybe trying to uh, access Alexis's mansion. You come across this little cave with this safe and a map with some overlays on it, a set of notes, and then these triangles that are scratched into a, the wall. Altogether, this is a puzzle for figuring out the combination to the safe, and it's one of the more complicated, interesting puzzles that I've come across in the game, or in, in many games, and it was fun uh, trying to solve it. And here's the kicker, for those of you who are going to write in the comments, just tell me the code, bro! We always get a few of those. I can't. It's going to be different in your playthrough than it is in mine. You have to actually solve the puzzle, but I'll show you exactly how to do it. To open the safe, you have to enter three three-digit combinations. Three codes, three triangles. Each triangle corresponds to one of the codes. And if you look at the map on the left, you'll see that one of the triangles has been inscribed over the top of the map because somebody got here before you and started trying to solve the puzzle. And so you have access to the beginnings of their starting to solve the puzzle and their notes for it. The notes give you some clues, but I didn't find them overly helpful. The big thing you have to do, and this is where whoever started solving the puzzle before you really helped out, you've got to go to these six locations, and you'll find a number written at each one. In these two locations, the one indicated by a ring and the one indicated by a skull, you will find historical plaques relating to someone named Bad Luck Mary, who was uh, some character who lived on the island in the game's lore, and uh, it's quite an interesting uh, little aspect of the game that they threw in. These aren't important right off the bat. They'll they'll help you uh, orient yourself later, but just keep them in mind. So I'll show you where to find all of the numbers now. Whoever put the cellophane over top of the map was kind enough to indicate exactly where the library is. At the front of the library, if you look just to the left of the door, you will see this plaque about Bad Luck Mary, indicating this is where she said her wedding vows which is why this location is signified by a ring. And just above it, you'll find the number, partially obscured, but you should be able to make out what number it is. In my case, it was a zero, but I'll remind you, it'll probably be different for you. Heading more or less due west from the library, you'll come to this area, where you'll find a number inscribed on the pillar down here. Here it is a little closer up, and as you can see, in my case, it was a two. Now the one far to the north is in the building that houses the Condition Detachment game. Now if you're here in the morning like I am, you can't get across the bridge, the bridge is retracted. But you can still see the number if you can zoom in far enough. It's written on the wall right there, as you can see, for me it was a 6. Next we're going to find the number that's to the south of the library here. Starting from the front doors of the library again, you just head over this way. And you'll see the number is written on the wall right there beside the gate. Here it is a little closer. As you can see, for me, it was a four. Then continuing along, if you just head through the gate. Head through this passage here. Hop up this way, and you'll find this building that has a plaque that reads, The Final Nights of Bad Luck Mary. Number written beside it, for me it was five. Finally head straight north from where we would where we just were with the Bad Luck Mary plaque and head down this street. And when you get to this point in front of Otto's workshop, which you may already know where it is from uh, a particular mission in the game, right here beside the doorway, there's another number written, and I got number five again. Again, remember these are probably different for you. Now, we're gonna head back to the cave, and this is where we figure out what the three combinations are. So on the wall, there are these three triangles, each with three vertices, of course. We have three combinations, each with three numbers. I'm sure you can see where this is going. When you overlay these triangles onto the up-dom map, each of the vertices will correspond to one of the numbers that you found. That'll give you the three numbers in the combination, but for as far as which order they go in, that's what the little ticks on the corners are for. So here's the map. Here's the numbers that I found in each location. And we've already got the first triangle overlaid on top. Start with the corner that has zero line marks. Second, move to the corner that has one line mark. 
and then to the corner that has two line marks. That gives me the combination 206. Now here's the second triangle overlaid on top of the map. Again, move in the order of the number of line ticks on each corner. So this gave me for the second combination, 650. By the way, I'm not sure if it matters which order you punch these into the safe or not, but I did it in the order from top to bottom. Now this third triangle puzzled me for a while, because it's easy enough to line it up on the map, because you've got the skull and the, the ring icons to help you. So it lines up with these three vertices, but there's no visible uh, line ticks on the corners to tell you which order they're supposed to go in. But I knew what the numbers were, and there are only six possible combinations of those three numbers, so I just decided to brute force it, and I got in on the second try. If you're curious, the combination was uh, 560, so that went skull, then the number on uh, the building to the north, conditioned attachment, and then the library one with the, the ring. And what's in the safe? Well, somebody really valued this particular flask for some reason. But the only reason this is really valuable to you is that it contains 5,000 residuum, and you might think, well, that's a lot of work for that kind of a prize. But this is 5,000 residuum that you can now collect every time you come to Updom. Well, once per day, anyway. So that should be a helpful boost, especially early on. So hope you found this helpful, hope you enjoyed the puzzle. Please slam the like button if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful. Subscribe for tons more gaming content, including many more guides and other types of content. And I will talk to you again very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, sub, and hit that notification bell. And then check out some of these other videos. Find the link to our Discord server and other important stuff in the description below. Rotated.